Hi, this is a short video to show you how the Qigong walk is done. It's a walk that helps us increase our oxygenation levels because we inhale double than we exhale. And we inhale with purpose, with awareness, and we do it from the nose. And then we also move our lungs so that our capillaries are exposed at different parts, uh, the left and the right. And so we have more of oxygenation across the lung. Also, we exhale through the nose and mouth or just the nose or just the mouth, but uh, that's optional. But we definitely inhale only through the nose. So we do it alongside a walk that's recommended, desirable, but we could also do it sitting. I will show you how you do it both ways. So let's say you are here. You put your hands at the level of your energy center, here, and then give yourself a twist. So you're twisting only the torso, right? You're twisting from the hips, yeah. And you're twisting in line with your left leg, my left leg in this case, right? This is my left side. And then I take a step ahead to the left, and I breathe in. And I twist to the right, and take the step to the right and breathe out. So obviously I don't want to move too far away from the camera, but I can do it sideways for you to have a look. Back. That's how you do a walk. And after about uh, five minutes of starting from this side and then going this side, you start inhaling this side and exhale this side. Like that. And if you want to do it sitting, then you're just sitting and you're making that intentional movement, right? So you, you're not walking anywhere, but you're breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, Breathing out. And then reversing that after a few minutes, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. It's called CC Who. Why is it called CC Who? Because you breathe in. So, CC Who. I hope that was helpful. It has been extremely useful for any kind of disease because. Often our diseases are caused by oxidation of our cells and increasing the oxygenation just makes them fresher. Just like an apple, it becomes brownish and then you make it fresh again and it's, you know, you can't do it with an apple really, but you can do it with your cells. So that's a short tutorial.